Morning friends, Matthew here, Thinking and Piping. It's been, uh, I don't know, two weeks since my last video, I think. Hope you've been well. Hope you've been blessed. I have. I, uh, been crazy because my kids started school this past week and they're now in three different schools, so it's just... As you know, the start of the school year, those of you that are parents, it's crazy in three different schools. It's nuts. Um, it's been good, though. My oldest started high school. So I've got a ninth grader, eighth, seventh, fifth, and third grader. Also been blessed by uh, Steve Coddington. Uh, smoking cardboard for those of you that follow him on YouTube. You should if you don't. After a recent video, I said that uh, uh, my troubles in buying some Dorchester from someone on Instagram, um, he offered to sell me a tin, so I'm very grateful for that. Got it in the mail today. And with it, he sent me a tin, and I forgot to bring it out with me, but he sent me a tin of Juno, just out of the kindness of his heart. And I'm excited. I've never had it before. Um, but uh, it's a Savinelli blend. But it's a straight Virginia, and those of you who follow me know I've been become a real big fan of straight Virginias. So I'm, ex I'm excited to try it. Um, I have a list of Street Virginias probably ahead of it to try, but I'll get to it. Um, that can't hurt with some aging anyway. But I'm grateful, Steve. Thank you. Speaking of that... My issues with this... I was trying to be nice with this guy on Instagram. Um, he was reputable, selling tobacco. I made sure he was reputable. Basically, when he sold me the two tins, I was approached by Customs because where he sent it from, he added, I guess, some extra tin so the weight didn't match up or something. He had an extra tin of something else for free, and he didn't declare it, so it got stopped. And then he wanted me to pay the money to, it was like $300 in fees or something to get it sent the rest of the way, and I had already paid... Basically, I paid $50 for two tins with shipping to him, which wasn't bad of Dorchester. But I told him, no, I'm not going to pay extra money. And incidentally, I'm smoking Dorchester, which has become one of my favorite vapors, definitely. Um... Whatever, this guy said he was going to try and get it sent. It never got was able to. He said he spent extra money on trying to get it sent, like $150 worth. I don't know about that. And then he said he was just going to refund. I asked him, I said, okay, fine. Either send me two more tins or just refund me my money. He was going to refund the money. That hasn't happened. I asked him nicely a few times. We had a few nice, pleasant conversations over Instagram. Now he doesn't seem to have an Instagram channel anymore, uh, page. So I think I'm out 50 bucks. Oh, well, yeah. Um, that's life. But on the high note, a health update. I've had all those tests that I was required to or were told to have for um, the issues I was having with the whole seizure stuff. And certainly I have had a few more seizures. So I reached out to my neurologist and said, I've had a few more seizures. What do the tests show? What's next? What are we going to do about it? And um, basically he said they, all the tests I did, which were four different tests, 
well five if you count what I had in the hospital when I first had my seizure none of them showed any abnormalities which is good but doesn't explain why I'm having seizures and so now the neurologist thinks it might be a blood pressure issue not seizures but I'm definitely having seizures so next up he had me is having me do another test um, a tilt table test um, which will give an indication about if blood pressure is having a factor unfortunately now they can't get it done they can't schedule it until because there's only one place that does them locally i guess and they can't get me in until november 1st so i won't find out anymore until november now and i'm still not allowed to drive which stinks especially with kids starting back in school caught three of them doing sports my daughter dance class one night a week their band their instrument practices are going to start back up sometime in the near future show us a busy time to not be able to drive i think i'm just have to relate this it is what it is sorry this video seems like it's going to go long because i had other stuff to talk about um but at least there's nothing like majorly wrong neurologically or in my heart that they're that they've ruled you know they've ruled that out so and no cancer coming back or anything so um what are you gonna do i guess just be patient so what i wanted to talk about today i had two other topics was um something that socal piper encouraged me to do a video on back a few months ago i had commented on one of his videos when he was showing or talking about some tattoos that he has and so he encouraged me to show the tattoos and and all that my tattoos so i'm going to um and each of them have meaning i i, I have three tattoos and i don't get them just for the fun of it um i only get them when there's a significance or a meaning behind it and so i'm going to show as i talk i'm going to try and in, when i do the editing i'm going to try and show the pictures of the tattoos if it doesn't work to do it while in the midst of these videos i'll do it at the end so i apologize if that's going to be the case but so i have three tattoos the first one on my shoulder right here um is a picture of the sacred heart of jesus an image of it and um sorry my son had us he's doing some yard work for me outside he had some questions um so my tattoo here is the first tattoo i got i think it was 2010 when i got it or 11 2011 maybe um so it's faded a little bit but it's the sacred heart of jesus and Uh, I have a strong devotion to the Sacred Heart, um, and uh, basically I was diagnosed with cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, in 2004, and went through treatments through 04, 05, have been in remission since then, but when you have that cancer, and a lot of cancers, they don't really consider you cured until five years after finishing treatments and no instances of cancer so it was five years so it was either 2010 or 2011 when I got that tattoo to celebrate being five years cancer free um, so it was significant to get it but it's also you know a thank you um, uh, for God for you know getting me through the cancer curing me of cancer so um, that was my first tattoo and my second tattoo was, I don't remember the date, the year, time, was um, uh, I have my, my second oldest son. Uh, oh, it's got a comment. My second oldest son is autistic or has autism. And he's been diagnosed since he was two and a half. He's 13 now. And so one of the tattoo artists that I know or that the same guy that I had gone to actually for my first one was doing a 
like a sale of tattoos. It was like a special deal. He was celebrating an anniversary of his shop, I think, and it was a special price. And he had a bunch of different tattoos you could get, but he had to choose one from his the sheets that he had done. And one of them was a puzzle piece. And puzzle pieces are representative of autism. Autism, like, um, you know how they do ribbons of different colors for cancer? Well, they do puzzle pieces for autism awareness. And so I got this puzzle piece tattoo of my son Christian. Um, when he did this special deal and I had him, I paid extra for him to put the words above and below that say, and, and actually add color to the puzzle piece. And the, so it's more than just the puzzle piece. The tattoo says, um, uh, you are my voice, or I, you are my heart. I am your voice. Um, which is significant of him. He's a, he is uh, nonverbal. In the last, I would say, two years, he started to say a few words here and there. Like he'll say pizza or he'll say water. He'll say a few things that, that he's learned when he wants something, which is really great. But for most of his life, he's been completely nonverbal. Like he doesn't say anything. He'll mumble and, and parrot. Like he'll say random stuff. Um, but he doesn't actually, you can't have a conversation with him. So, um, anyway, so that tattoo, and I'm hoping that I was able to put the picture in by now, is for my son Christian. Um, so, yeah. And then the third tattoo was um, my wife and I actually got matching tattoos. It's on my back, left, right shoulder, I think. One of the back shoulders. Um, My wife and I, when we celebrated our 10th anniversary, wedding anniversary, we're up to almost 16 years next month. But on our 10th anniversary, we decided to get matching tattoos. Uh, she's gotten a lot of tattoos, so tattoos are a pretty big thing for her, but this was only my third. Um, we got matching tattoos because uh, of uh, what it is, is a firefighter hose and a stethoscope because we were both, where for a while actually we, we resigned from the fire department just a few months ago, but because of other responsibilities. But for nine years, I was a volunteer firefighter and, and, and an EMT. And my wife is also part of the department. She didn't do as much fire stuff, but she was our EMT captain for, for a long time. Um, so she's been an EMT for quite a while. And so we got this matching tattoo of that's firefighter hose and the stethoscope in the shape of a heart and it's got our wedding date on it 10 607 was when we got married so that was in honor of our 10-year wedding anniversary so that's the significance of that tattoo um hope you don't mind me showing a little skin and uh don't offend you for it but uh yeah so let me know if, what tattoos you have and any significance that they might hold for you um so, and the last thing I wanted to say in this video, sorry, it's gotten to be a little lengthy, like 11 minutes or so by now, 10 minutes. Um, I just wanted to direct you to, uh, if you don't follow the Pipe Cottage, you should. Um, he's got a great channel. Uh, but he put out a really inspiring video this past week about his journey to becoming Catholic. And it was more than just that, and it was... Uh, and I give him props for that because I know he's dealt with some hardships for it because of where he lives and a lot of people probably down south don't understand why he's becoming Catholic. But um, it was inspiring to me because, one, I'm Catholic and, you know, trying to be a strong Catholic, I've always been, tried to be, and fail miserably at times. But he was just inspiring to me to for us to be stronger in our faith and not be afraid to talk about our faith on YouTube and just in daily life uh, and not be embarrassed by it, but just not be afraid to, to share things. And so it was inspiring to me to hear him talk about it. And I know he's going to continue to talk about his faith on his channel. Um, and so 
props for him for that and thank you uh, for sharing that testimony so I don't know if he watches my videos but um, really uh, was, was moved by it and um, encourage you guys to check it out uh, whether you're Catholic or not um, and uh, yeah don't be afraid to talk about your faith and so with that it's been a blessed two weeks for me since my last video um, and I hope you guys have had a, a really great time too and continue to have a good weekend. God bless all of you. Be safe, be healthy, and I'll talk to you again later.